I'm making reference. So I'm not attacking anybody. All right. So in that video, she mentioned some persons that were in the same in the same um, art with Chris Okotia. So I wouldn't know if it was the memory of those people that sp sparked off this piece that he wrote and posted on his Facebook page. I wouldn't really know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't understand. But there is a likelihood that he remembered Okosum, Sonny Okosum, you know, who was said by Bisola in that video that the man was receiving chemotherapy in America and he was called back home to Nigeria to come for healing in Nigeria. You know, and many other prominent people, you know. See, I'm, I'm giving my own confession, though. No. We did it together. Oh. I was part of it, oh. but I've confessed. Oh. I'm not doing it again, no. Oh. And God has forgiven me because he said if you confess your sins, honestly. He, he honestly, he's faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. He said he that cover his sins will not prosper. So... Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the End Time Truth Television channel. We urge you to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell icon by selecting all so that the next time we upload a new video, you will be among the first persons to be notified by Google. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till then, Shalom. hello out there good morning good afternoon good evening god bless you for being there um this video that uh you're about to watch is uh uh i'm gonna talk about what pastor chris okotie uh wrote about pastor tb joshua and then uh, as i as i was watching as i was reading that and then i remember something that somebody said you know, Abisola said about some celebrities who died in almost in synagogue or uh, the role that synagogue played in the death of some persons. Listen, you know, what I'm trying to do now is not actually trying to cast aspersion on any person. Um, and I'm not trying to speak evil of anybody. I'm not trying to speak evil of either Pastor Chris, Pastor Prophet T.B. Joshua of late, and uh, not of Bisola. But I just want to look at these things. You know, um, let me just play the video to you first. I mean, release uh, to you what Chris said of T.B. Joshua. Uh,
In this book, you also talk about uh, the former governorship in Lagos State. Uh, yeah, I just saw him. Uh, yeah. yeah Fonshaw Fon 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 Williams. Williams. You said yeah. the day he died, he was still with Joshua. He was with for Joshua. We were there. We were, we were with him at the uh, presidential lodge. You know, immediately visitor come. Disciples, you know, chosen disciples, not all disciples, you know, will be the one that will stay with the visitors. They will be showing them uh, videos and all that. Mm -hmm. So telling them, this is what we have done, this is what we have done. So did the visitors, you know, go uh, go to Undo and ask Baba Kinyele. Oh, yes. Just yeah, 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 I interviewed him one time and he told me, he said, TV Joshua is a liar. And that was the interview. But I can yeah, I interviewed I can leave myself. There's one and that's one of the reasons I said we have to interview you. There's one woman who, who had baby with General Gowan. Hmm. Hmm? Out of wedlock. Out of wedlock. I think maybe they have met before uh, the General got married. Hmm. So, Papa Kinyele brought that lady. Uh, the lady was working with Guinness. Mm. The lady would leave her office and sat, um, you know, stay in the synagogue. After a while, Tibi Joshua said he should be the PR, doing PR for synagogue. Mm. The woman was well educated. Highly educated. Highly educated. So, no, not knowing that she was nursing breast cancer. Jesus. And that was how the woman died. No, no healing, not no healing, no healing, no healing. So Baba Kinyele, you know, noted that one day Baba Kinyele uh, asked uh, one uh, major general, major general, asking something to visit synagogue that uh, he has discussed with T.B. Joshua. And because anytime visitor come, it's Bisola that we ask. Yeah. So I, I came out and he said, oh, I can really said, you know, I said, okay, fine, no problem, sir. I sat him down. Then I went in to tell T.B. Joshua that the man has come. So he asked uh, Mrs. Adebayo and uh, Yinka and Olaiton to go and check the extent of his uh, blindness. So when they saw, they said they saw that the man was totally blind. Uh -uh. So they now went back and say we cannot arrange him. So he now said I should tell the man that he's not around. Uh -uh. Even when Ayefele came, so say same in Ayefele. In Ke Ayefele, it was search, search for healing too. No, they did not allow him to enter because they can't. You know, they, he can't. There's no healing now. It's only patch, patch, you know, or or they want they perform magic, mm. so you know. Bounce him at the gate. Yeah, they bounce him at the gate. You know, Femi, Femi, the Femi tall was the one that he sent to him. So I told the man that he's not around. He said, ah, you know, he called uh, Baba Kinyele and said, what happened? What happened? What happened? The Baba said, don't worry, I will get in touch with him. And because if the call synagogue. Boom. Even if you get call TB Joshua's number, he will not be the one that will take it directly. Mm -hmm. You know, the disciples will pick it first. So, you know, say, ah, he's not around, he's not around, he's not around. Kuyili, he came with a problem. With a cancer problem, too. With a cancer problem. I was, heal that too. I was the one that took her to that uh, Agodo. That place, the, 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 the so, so supposed to divine river. Say, so I the divine river. I said, I should lead her. So, when I led her, then later, Tibi Joshua met us and took us all inside a you know a kind of canoe. You know, and when we got to one point, himself entered into one room and came back again. So, we we paddled the, the flying boat to another place, himself and the woman went in. Me, I was inside the canoe with uh, Akewi, mm. the, the one that was paddling. So after they finished, they came. The woman came like, you know, three, four times. Mm. You know? And there was no healing? No healing. Yeah, you can see that she died now. She died in 2014. So that was what uh, Baba Kinyele was saying. That why is he that all the people we brought there who have names? 
Abi, yes. that we can cross check. Say okay, Kanu uh, wanko go and. Sonny Okosun to you. Yes. Yes. Sonny Okosun. What happened to Sonny Okosun really? Because he died. I saw him when he was traveling out. Before he now finally died, he was looking so lean. It what was happened? it was T B Joshua who asked him to come down from U S. When he was going to the treatment. Can I put somebody on the phone? Hmm. No, we talk to you. We talk yes. to you. You know, we were in Surabaya, Indonesia. Hmm. We were inside TB Joshua's bedroom, you know, in his hotel. We went to get in, uh, instructions. Hmm. So while we were there, you know, Brother Amos just ran out to pick up a call. Hmm. I think he has called him before, and uh, the person, re you know, called back. Hmm. So after he has, you know, he came back, he said, Ah, that's Sonny Okunsu that is in US taking uh, chemo. We say, Wow. So then he called the man again, and the moment uh, the, the moment TB Joshua came out of the inner room, mm. he gave it to him because we we're in the parlor. Mm. So he gave it to him that this is Sonny Okosu is taking. Then TB Joshua took it and said, My friend, why don't you tell me you are going for treatment? You don't need to spend all that money. Healing, you know, is available. I'm also in. <laughs> I'm also in, you know, uh, I don't know what that one was saying. Maybe, sorry, sir, sorry, sir. Okay. Come and let us, you know, settle this once and for all. He gave the phone back to Brother Amos. The next thing we saw, uh, uh, Sonny Okoson in synagogue. And when he got there, they said they must not bring him down. They must keep him inside that room called presidential lodge so that you can be watching tv the man said ah, they are arranging you know you know it's live program mm. they are arranging sick people let me join them say no no, no he's coming to you specially mm. he's coming to you specially at the end of the day the man stayed from morning to night mm. so he said he wants to go that he's not feeling well so if you want to go, they say stay is still coming. They want it to they want him to wait till midnight and say, Oh, man of God is so tired. He's even talking about you, you know. Don't worry, you know, maybe tomorrow. Oh, you know, tomorrow. So the man said he wants to go and use take his drugs. So that was how he went down. They, he said they still follow him. So as he was there, he was sending messages to Brother Amos. Mm. That see, I'm being I'm I'm under duress in the synagogue, mm. and without being, you know, attended to. Attended to. I landed there. I to take his car. They didn't. So he had to go on bike from Mikotun to Ogba. Mm. So that was how they have to fly him again. Again, so but it was too late. He died. He died. I like Charlie Boy also came, but Charlie Boy was wiser. What happened? Ah. The which day I saw Charlie Boy, I gave him my book. I said, Come, <laughs> he said, Bisola, she be at the tell Una, Una just fall for that scam. I said, Just take this book, your story, day inside. He said, Me too. I said, Yes, because you know, um, you know, TB Joshua always wants anything that will bring you know, uh, fame to him. You understand? JJ, these people, they took one lady to South Africa. Because she, was, because she had cancer. TB Joshua said we should call them. Say, why didn't they bring it bring her to? You know you can't do this thing. Why are you driving trouble to yourself? Eh? So so those people say, Oh, they apologize, you know, you know. At that time Tunde was with uh, Charlie. So he sent money to them. Okay. Yeah. He, uh, okay. These people they want money, they want to use money to drag you. So he sent money to them. He said he contributes, but unfortunately the woman died. Mm. So is it not TB Joshua that usually say that uh 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 in the spirit there's no uh <laughs> He always used one word that there's no limitation. Yes. So that even people can put their hand on TV. TV. Yes, and they get their healing. Do they need to bring the person to synagogue? No, no, no. They should, you should just say put, touch TV. Yes. Anyway, so when the woman died, so uh, Charlie came to synagogue. Mm -hmm. Number one, at that time he was doing that is Charlie Boy. Charlie Boy show. show. We so yeah.
So, Timmy Joshua complained that uh, Charlie Boy money was too much. But because he needed that fame. That popularity. Popularity. Because he know that he's like now. I want to be famous. Where shall I go? CNN. Yeah. You know, you understand? BBC. You BBC. You pay, you know, Al Jazeera. So, because at that time he was pushing himself, pushing himself. So, he paid. And they came. They did that profile. At that time, Ovation 2 came. Yes. Dele Muhammadu. He paid the money, you know, and uh, then uh, Charlie Boy started coming okay. because he said he should be coming. Yeah. So maybe it's money, it's money thing. I don't know. So one day, Charlie Boy came with his wife and his ch children and grandchildren. There were many yeah. because I had to reserve, you know, large oh, space, space for them. So why they were there? I was called into his, his T.B. Joshua's office. He said, tell him, you know, before I come, you know, just tell him to say something, you know, so that the member will know that Charlie Boy is in the service. Mm. So I will just come. I will, I will pray for him so that we can... Mm -hmm. See, I'm, I'm giving my own confession, though. Mm -hmm. We did it together. Oh. I was part of it, too. Oh. But I've confessed, so. Oh. I'm not doing it again, no. And God has forgiven me because he said if you confess your sins, honestly. He, he honestly, he's faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. He said he that cover his sins will not prosper. So when people are talking about prosperity, you don't measure prosperity of God with money or with fame or with what people has. No. Please. Go and read Ephesians 1 3. You will see prosperity. Mm. Anyway, you know, he said, okay, I, I then I said, ah, eh, cha, Charlie, uh, come and address the church now. We go just tell them. He said, I no get time. <laughs> so he, he left what we were doing. Somebody else came to me. Mm. Say, Charlie has gone across the road smoking. You know, yeah, that's his, you know. So after the service, they met. It's like Fatai was, T.B. Joshua was not happy that he didn't do what he asked him to do because he wanted to do something like Jim Ike okay. for him. To make him fall. To make him fall. To roll on the floor and the, they will splash it on the news that, hey, Charlie Boy was delivered in the synagogue. But Charlie Boy didn't give him that... Uh, opportunity so you're too small i'm not going anywhere he's too big he's too big he loves god too much he's too wealthy he's too big if i let him go if i where will i go what do you want to do to him Destroy him! Huh? I have to destroy him. It's God, it's God has kept my life. I've done everything. I've done everything to destroy him. He keeps blessing him. He's too stubborn. What are the things you think is finding him? Huh? He will never get married. He will never, he will never get married. He will never get married. He can't love anybody. What have you done to his career? I've tried to destroy his career. It keeps rising. Every time. I can't breathe. Essayer de détruire sa carrière. I can't breathe. Continuer à progresser. No. Listen, listen. I can't let him go. He will never go. I will never. Je vais pas le laisser. Never let him go. Don't you understand? Je vais pas le laisser. This one is the biggest of them all. This is God's glory. If I let him go, if I let him go, everything is gone. How are you? I'm good. So right now. I can't let him go. So right now. In the name of Jesus, you demon, it's time you go. Oh, no. Why do you Jesus Christ? Oh, no. Let me just go. Oh, why do you Jesus Christ? Let me go. Come on! Let me go. Come on! 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 Come Come again! Come again! Come again! Truthfully, if they told me that there will be a cure in, in, in hell, I'll go. You're talking about your mother, you know? So I went. 
Now, I remember I went there with my security, my sister, my, my PA, and when we got there, there was constant insistence. We were upstairs in one room. There was constant insistence that I come to church that day. And I said, well, that wasn't the arrangement. The understanding is that come do what you put Because we, we kept my mom, we brought her by air ambulance, we kept her in the, in the hospital nearby. I said, the understanding is that you lay your hands on her and she will you know, get better. But they said, no, you must come to church. Consequently, the argument won. My sisters forced me and I went to church downstairs. I was there and when the whole thing about touching people and they would say stuff was happening, I, was, I found it a little laughable, seriously. I'm saying this on national TV, that people can confirm or go on. And um, I remember my sister pinching me and telling me to stop. I said, come on, man, this charity, this is what we came here for. This, this no, you know, let's move mommy out of here and you know, keep looking for medical help. Then we we're about to go to South Africa to this gentleman that was recommended to us, a specialist as well. Um, the next thing, the gentleman question passed, and, and I looked at him, I still had the same look of amuse amusement on my face, and he touched me. Now, I can't explain what happened within that space of time, within that five minutes where whatever it is happened, happened. I'm not here to start preferring explanation to spiritual things that is way beyond me. I'm a man that understands how a lot of things work. That I cannot explain. And nobody can suggest anything otherwise. Because personally, I know what happened you know, to me. But within that time, lacks explanation. They said I said stuff, I did stuff. I, I, found, that, um, I found that extremely embarrassing at that time. But... Um, even further down the line, the reason I felt extremely bitter about it was, at the end of the day, I mean, my mom didn't get healed. Um, I still lost her, you know. So I carried that. I, when people were saying all kinds of stuff about it, some people even suggested that I got paid to come to, you know, through that charity. I thought that was the highest level of insult. Um, I didn't want to come out in public media and, and talk about the real reason I was there. Because if they understood, they would understand that I, it's the love of a mother that drew, drove me there. So it happened, it happened, and um, you know, it took the birth of my son, really, uh, to let that issue go. For a long time, I was very bitter about it. I carried that, that yoke in my heart, and uh, you know, I just felt I mean, I'm so mad at this man and everything um, that happened that time. But the truth of the matter is that I was holding myself captive, not him. You know, he, he had that kind of power over me. Every time I saw him, it, I, I would request that he get switched off. But by the end of the day, when I had my son, one night I got up, looked at my son, and felt the enormity of the kind of love only a father can feel for him. So, and I said, listen, for, for the reason and the occasion of my son's birth, I have to let this go. So there are a lot of them, even a lot of them that he said he delivered. Are we talking of Tonto Dike? Is he, she better than the past? So they just lost a marriage. They just lost a marriage. So that, we learned that Kafi also came to dance. Oh, oh, Kafi, Theo, Theo Iupa, uh, one uh, TV director yeah. brought uh, Kafi. So when Kafi, see, this TV Joshua is very devious. Mm. Anytime he sees something in somebody, he wants to have that person very close to him mm. and be using. I remember one time, Kathy, hold on. One time, you know, there was service and one man ran out and held onto T.B. Joshua. He said, you are always using him in the spirit. That his body is not feeling well. Please leave him. This the man, man ran to him, embarrassed him. Embarrassed him. Do you know that somebody had to cut his hair? Cut somebody beat that man and remove his hair. In the, the church? In, yeah, in in that shrine called synagogue. Ah, it was a drama. It was a drama. Who, who cut the hair? Is it a disciple? It, it's a uh, one guy called Armstrong of Africa. Okay, that's that's uh, a wrestler. wrestler. Uh, remove, him from remove, remove him. They cut his hair. So anyway, Hi. when when it was during T.B. Joshua's birthday, so a lot of people, he always say, ah, can't we invite a celebrity or this uh, Nollywood? He's just using you guys. Mm. You better get sense. Mm. So, mm. so if you want to mix with people, you should mix with people 
you know godly people mm. not people that will be using you spiritually and however otherwise, otherwise. So, Kafi, they didn't listen. so Kafi came to dance okay. he didn't know Tibi Joshua Upa brought you know her so after the dance you know after the everything everybody will be paid money mm. You know, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000. Even when the house fell, they took TB Joshua to, uh, to court. Yeah. Some celebrities were rented. I'll give you uh, a, a contact of somebody. The person called me yeah. and said, Every outing they go to carry placard and say, Leave TB Joshua alone, leave it. It's 200K. Mm. Just so, like that. Just like that. So I just don't want to mention that person. I didn't. Okay. I didn't want to. Yeah. So then after they gave them, because everyone had to come and come to TB Joshua's office. Mm. So then uh, TB Joshua called me and came. Say, say this guy. What was she doing outside? Tell her to come and carry cross. So uh, unfortunately for her, she had some challenges at the time. You know why people fall. Pray. Why 95% of people fall prey into this is because they have issues, mm. you know. And uh, so she said, uh, she, you know, she's having some um, problem here and there. She needs, you know, support. So she will come. She will bring uh, maybe taxi. Okay, Uber. Yeah, yeah, from okay. Victoria Island. Sometimes she will say she pay 10000 you know, for the taxi. So, we, but we were telling her, say, why don't you say, say no? She has a lot of vision and things to do in life. She wants to train people. Yeah. Say, Leave them. We too. We were something outside there before but we before we came here. So just leave everything. But the lady refused. Yeah. So because she refused, anytime she come, Tibi Joshua don't issue money for her. <laughs> so she stopped coming. Mm. You understand? You, you even said chief, right? One year also came. We're rounding up now. Yeah. So wh why did that one year stop coming? He came once. He, the owner of champions. He, he came twice. Okay. He came twice. He visited. He was in uh, TB Joshua's office. I, I think he had no problem. Okay. So TB Joshua said he should, he should come to the healing line. So the man was a little bit reluctant, but he went there. So after that healing line, the man never returned. But he sent his secretary mm. with a check of either four hundred or five hundred thousand. Mm. Four hundred thousand, mm. I received it. TB Joshua was so disappointed. Mm. He thought the man would give him like millions, mm. the way possibly they have, uh, yeah. you know, uh, discussed. Uh, no, mm. the way people have told him about the man that yeah. is so rich. Yeah. And while they were in the office, Tim Joshua was telling him all their needs. The problem, he, or the, the problem of the church. So the man just gave him that 400,000 one time and thing and never came back again. Mm. Where was that? The one Chief Mike Negbese refused to follow him. Uh, that one refused. Mike Negbese. He came like two times and they say he had to go to the uh, to the healing line and the man said no. He doesn't want to be filmed. <laughs> and Timmy Joshua told us that uh, don't, don't mind him. Uh, he has problem of uh, his manhood is not working. <laughs> That's how you normally gossip people. You know, you know, no matter how big.